that's it. Good. Yeah. Good. We're here. It's our after New Year's, obviously. We didn't have a New Year's, which is fine. Yeah. And he is not a priest tonight or a preacher. He's actually just a volunteer. Yeah. How did they do in their bowl game? Did they win? They won. They won. They won. They won. Yes. yes. They got the cheese a trophy. <laughs> Okie dokie. My Irish one's the most happy. What did you pick? I, I, I put this in the front of the fridge, and I've already done a short video that I haven't put out on my TikTok yet, but there was two of my eggs that I got over this time. So it's a uh, dill pickle, sour beer. Oh. Zoom in there. Distilled brewery. Um, so... Um, our number one fan, Step Sergeant Daddy Longlegs. No, um, he's a big pickle fan. Oh, I bet he likes the pickles. He does like the pickles. Um, what's funny too is he is actually from Illinois. Oh, really? Yeah. So. Not Illinois. Yeah, he's from Chicago. Um, Chicago. It's all Chicago. Um, it's five, southern because it's five point two. Chicago is southern because it runs right into um, Indiana, which is the murder capital. That little corner, that the Indiana Chicago thing. It's all Chicago. It's all Chicago. It's all murder capital. Yes. So, what is new in the world of Spencer? Uh, wow, you can smell the pickle. Yeah, yes, you can smell. <laughs> is that all of it? No. Pour it all. I think your I think your wife was gonna really like this. Wendy didn't, surprisingly. She likes the pickle. She likes the pickle. The dill. Yeah, you can definitely smell it. Golly, oh, I love this stuff. Oh, this is over at at um. Beach Liquors by the island. This is like two dollars and forty-five cents each. You know yes, what? if we had some whiskey. I was yep. <laughs> Have your own whiskey pickle. That is tasty. You might want to let her, your wife, drink a little bit before. Yeah. I can wait if you want to go take it. I'll pause this for a second. All right. So yeah, back tasted it. Now we can drink it all. Same sense. reaction, yeah. So, so I saw it earlier, uh, but I actually watched a video about it. I'm um, gonna save a little bit of this. I do have something we can. Okay. okay. Video. Um, have you seen the thing about Christopher Nolan? Yes, about the, the um, Peloton. Peloton, yes. He's riding the Peloton. The lady comes on and starts his training. Crap. Trainer, well, yeah. <laughs> So apparently she didn't know, like they have, they don't, there's no connection. Like she didn't know he was there. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think she didn't know he, because uh, she's been his trainer or something, what I thought. Oh, okay. But she didn't know he was. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, apparently. Um, what movie was it? I never heard that. Uh, Tenet. Oh, I can yeah. see, I can see the confusion. There's a lot of. Yeah. She was like, you got to have like a neuroscience degree to get, to be able to understand what's going on. I need a guide. She was like, who watches this? Yeah. <laughs> He's been talking a lot. There's been a lot of Christopher Nolan stuff's been said lately. Like he made a comment about Zack Snyder and that Zack Snyder really changed the name of the game for superhero movies. Yeah. And even though people don't love him, they should at least respect that part. I was like, damn, Chris. Because remember, he, he he produced Man of Steel for, for, uh, for Zack. Yeah. So, you know. Um, let's see. Either... Zack's got Rebel Moon out. Have you watched Rebel Moon? Not yet. On my list. I liked it. Okay. Some people are going to talk crap about it because they don't even like Zach. That's the whole thing. I want to watch that and then uh, the Creator. That's, those were both on my list. Creators on Hulu. Yes, yeah. I want to watch that. Um, we might be able to just put that on if we can talk them into it because it's on the list. I want to see that. Uh, so is there any other movie news that I saw here recently? <laughs> That. Um, what's his name? I'm trying to remember. Oh, Chad Stolowski, I think, is his name. 
the John Wick director. Mm -hmm. He's put his name since um, Marvel fired the guy who was going to make Blade or where he, he quit, one of the two, I don't know. He's like, hey, let me direct it. And after seeing the John Wick movies, hey, let him direct it. <laughs> I mean, the, the best Blade so far has been two to me with Guillermo del Toro, who nobody thought he could make that kind of flick. Yeah. You know. That was the one with... Mark uh, Roman as well. Was that the Ryan Reynolds one? No, that was Trinity. That okay. was the third one. That was okay. awful. Yeah. With Hunter H, Triple H in there yeah. with the dog vampire. Yeah. No, it was the first with the introducing of that one that dislocated his jaw. Yeah. But then he ended up writing that um, novel Glamro did, and then he made the TV series on FX, The Strain. That's what I was just, yeah. That was that was pretty decent. I like The Strain. But, uh, so that's a little bit of news. Yeah. Um, I, got, I got nothing here. You got nothing? People are asking about the Wonder Man TV show they were going to start working on. Because they were talking about that. Um, Apparently, Marvel was going to make a Eternals TV series, <clears throat> and it got it got canceled. Yeah, that'd be and interesting. I watched the movie. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't like my favorite. Yeah. So. Eternals is okay. I just think it's it's just a bunch of people we don't know yet. I think it could have worked better as a TV series first. Yeah. That introduced us to the characters that led us to the movie. That's the whole thing because it's so far out of left field, and it's kind of kind of slow. And I, but I, I don't mind the acting. I don't I don't mind the characters. I think a couple of people have bowed out of if they have another one. You know. Yeah. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what MCU does since there's only going to be one 2024 MCU movie. DC I think has four. No, so, no, DC doesn't. DC doesn't have one until 2025. Aquaman 2 was the last one, so yeah. yeah. Then they're waiting for the new Superman. Yeah. Which, this was actually kind of funny. Um, <clears throat> again, our number one fan, Kyle, I was talking with him, um, and I said... He doesn't even respond on YouTube anymore. I, does he watch the videos? He does. No, does he? Because yeah. he didn't even talk about the tribute. He doesn't... Um, you know? So, he has more hope for... Uh, Super, was it Superman? Superman Legacy? Yeah, he has more hope for it than I do. Really? It's yeah. James Gunn. I have all the hope. I'll, I'll, when it comes out, I mean, we'll see. But right now, I'm just, I'm just like, well, you know. It, that's the whole thing, is right now, with the disappointment of what we've seen, or, or the way they've, they've kind of played down the end of the DCEU. Like, nobody supported the Aquaman 2, and it's like, dude, come on. Yeah. I mean, everyone, it was, the first one was a billion dollar movie worldwide. And it's like, I mean, it's going out with, it started with a bang and it's going out with a whimper, you know? Yeah. And they want to sit in there and compare it to the Marvels and all this, and it's all this comic book hate that's that's come out, and it's like, it's from a bunch of child men or whatever, and it's just, or baby, well, I don't know, it's a bunch of people who talk a bunch of smack. Yeah. And honestly, you know, it's just like, you have the Zack Snyder haters, and then you have the Zack Snyder groupies, and it's like, come on. Yeah. It's a bunch of crap. Uh, like I said, I'll, if he does something great with it, hey, more power to him, but I'll, I'll I'll wait and reserve, you know. I think it'll be good. I think he'll, he'll be fine. Um, he doesn't, he has, he has the same feeling as I do about the Superman movie about uh, Jason Momoa being Lobo. What about? Like, he's like, you know, he was already Aquaman. Let's get somebody new. That's right what now. I want. Yeah. I mean, I like Jason Momoa, but let's get some new blood. This, yeah. That's my opinion. Be it two, two bills and a... I mean, I'm not disrespecting Jason, but yeah. When they reuse people as different characters, that's the one thing they, they talked about is, we're not going to... That character's going to be that character. And then they're like, oh, this is a different... No, no. Now, I did see a girl on uh, TikTok. No. She, um, her opinion on like, the Marvel issue right now with Jonathan Majors and all that, she was like, we can replace him and nobody will care. Because she went through all the different characters, like, you know, Rhodey. Yeah. Uh, Bruce Banner. 
Yeah. Um, all these characters that they they had started with one actor and they moved to a new one. Yeah. And she was like, we can replace them and nobody would care. Her idea was um, the dude from Attack the Block, and he was in Star Wars. John Boyega. Yeah. That was her suggestion. My suggestion is if you're going to do that, it'd be a cool kind of tie-in kind of deal. Have uh, the dude that played the first roadie. Terrence Howard. Have him be a uh, Kang. Kang variant? Or? A Kang variant. And they'll tie, they can tie that in with Rhodey being taken by the scrolls okay. and being locked, you know. I think they could pull it off. But, I mean, hey, pick somebody different. And... Why pick anybody different? Here's what I'm going to throw at you. Why change them? Because they want to. I, 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 I... You, you read the court transcript. Yeah, I mean, I know... What he was found guilty of is BS. This is the whole thing. If you actually, if Pete, that's the whole thing. It's the response to the cancel. The cancel culture once again oh, snaps in. Yeah. Disney responds because he was found guilty. The word guilty, even though there were misdemeanors that had nothing to do. It was about him defending himself and accidentally, when he was defending himself, like pinching her finger or something like that. And it's like, that's the ridiculousness of this. Oh, yeah. Is people don't care to read into it. I can understand if it was what they accused him of to begin with, but it wasn't. Yeah. It was this ridiculous misdemeanor. And he was defending himself in the first place. And that's that the people listen to the headlines, they don't read into it, and this is the problem with most of our culture nowadays, is they can't read. Well, and I, and I get it, but Disney's going to do what Disney's going to do. They're going to oh, get rid of him well, because they don't want to tarnish their image because of this, that, or the I, other. And Had they not be looked behind the face of who Walt really was... You want to talk about turning it in it, tar sir? Tarnishing their image, sir, sir. You don't stare into the face of God, and that's who it, he is to them. And 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 yeah, they should read some facts. Well, though. I know, but I'm just saying, like, that is okay for them. This this is not. Yeah, uh, it's. I mean, but you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. You've read about Walt. Yeah, he was not this no. perfect angel. No. I so he has an <laughs> interview coming up. On Monday, to the Monday or Tuesday, Jonathan Majors okay. with Good Morning America, yes. owned by Disney, and I actually wonder if it was kind of a you can keep your job, but you got to get on screen, be interviewed by our people. And well, they, you know, they did technically fire him as soon as that that day. So yeah, maybe it'll be. A, remember, they rush they rush with James Gunn in between yeah. in between Guardians two and three, right? Yeah. And I was like, dudes, you're, you're pulling off somebody who saved a tweet from 10 years ago, putting it totally out of context. Yeah. And this is the whole thing. We'll see. We'll see what happens. I mean... I mean, if the dude's a bad guy, that's one thing. But when you see this in front of me, you're like, really? Yeah. That, that's just dumb. But we're going to try some 101, the regular. Down the rye. A dollar cheaper for the rye. So we're going to do our own whiskey pickle now whiskey pickle if you don't know usually it's the cheapest nastiest whiskey and this is a bourbon but it'll be close i made that mistake before remember <laughs> <laughs> it's like i brought whiskey for whiskey pickle and you were like that's a bourbon dude oh wait <laughs> in the, they're the same family technically but you do you do a shot Do a shot. Usually it's the cheapest and the nastiest. It's how you get rid of them. Ooh. What? Not tonight. Okay. But. We need to bring the, the dirty snowball to the screen. Yes. But what I was just thinking too is. Shot of whiskey. Yes. Dropped in. Down a hole. Pickle? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I had down a whole one. But. Oof. And your pickle, a lighter fluid. The same, the sucker punch dill pickles. And you can use pickle juice. It works the same, but it's yeah. beer. Uh, oh, it takes the edge right off. Now you got the sour hitting. No, yours didn't. No, you didn't take a big enough gulp. 
Ooh. Who needs a chiropractor? Let's take a shot of that. <laughs> like I said, that is the wild turkey rye 101. Well, like, a dollar cheaper than regular. So, you saw his face. That's what he thought about it. He's not a bourbon drinker. I keep trying. I'm not really a bourbon drinker, but I'm starting to appreciate them more. My friend watched. Joel on TikTok, Whiskey Rocks podcast, if you've never listened to it, they talk about their favorite bourbons, and they talk about music. Two things they talk about. And it used to be, talk about a underpriced uh, bourbon and an overrated music group. <laughs> and it's, it's fun. I don't know if they still have, I haven't listened to it in a couple episodes, but that's what they were doing. <laughs> still effect. We'll be back after we finish our pickle beer. So, you actually have started the creator on Hulu. Only a few minutes in. Mm -hmm. John David Washington, I think, is the main character. Mm -hmm. You've seen the previews before. I think it's interesting. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to remember the director. I can't remember if it's Gareth Edwards or... I think he... I don't remember if he's the one who did Rogue One and Godzilla. Gareth Edwards. Is it? Yep. Godzilla, Rogue One. Still. Still got it. I'm going to torture him with you. I'm going to give him this. Bubba's secret stills. Now I've done this on my TikTok too. Let's see what he thinks. Bubba's. Bubba's secret stills. That's good. What is it? It's eighteen dollars of Publix. Brown spice liquor. Brown spice. Hmm. It's only thirty-five percent alcohol by volume, so seventy proof. It's a nice, easy thing. I'm gonna torture him with this. Southern Tier Brewing Company's two times juice jolt, wild fruit juice flavor. 9.5%. <clears throat> oh, he finished this when he made a face. Mm. That purred a face. I saw that in your fridge. And all I saw was Extra the... juicy <laughs> double IPA. <laughs> I saw the, the two times juice jolt. And I was like, is it like a four loco? We're getting caffeine? You almost worked in there. It's juice. It's two times juice. Oh. It actually smells pretty good. It's got a nice smell. Mm -hmm. Let's see if it's juicy or if it's double IPA. It tries. It's, try it's like trying to get you there. You definitely taste the juice. It is juicy. Mm -hmm. Juice. Juicy. To say what kind of fruit juice? I don't know. Bold fruit juice. Bold. It's just. <laughs> That's all it says. Bold, dynamic, extraordinary. Southern Tier Brewing. Hmm. I think Southern Tier, I think we did that when we were in Athens. I'd look at that as one in Athens we went to. So, what else you got to say, boss? Um, Lakewood, New York. So, no, it's not. Southern Tier, Lakewood, New York. <laughs> yes. Let's see. I saw that game you were talking about. I read that article about the one that was advertised as being such, and now they were having to refund the money. Oh, yeah. Uh, the day before. The day before. Yeah. I read and, that now, and now. People are buying the key or something. Like they that. Have, they, well, they've bought the game. Uh, Steam is removing the game from yeah. the website. Well, they've already removed it, um, but now it's considered like gaming history. And so there's a small group who are trying to preserve those keys because they're like, "It's so bad. Like we can't just let it disappear and not, you know, mm -hmm. you know." But then there's the other ones, the scalpers. They're selling it for 
four, five, a thousand dollars for the key or whatever. Isn't there some people trying to actually make the game better or something? That I haven't seen. Okay. Yeah. Because yeah, the uh, the developer they shut down. Yeah. So seriously. So half the people that purchased it got a refund. Yeah. And the other half were just. That's yeah. why Steam's offering the refund, or yeah, because they're like, "Well, night, we're nice, we're popular." I never get to go on Steam because that's like a computer-based thing, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Um, I'm co back to just console gaming. <laughs> don't, don't get me started, um, <laughs> sir. Uh, why should I not get you started? That is a that is a subject that I won't go down. <laughs> you don't go down. Um, but I'm trying to think of any other gaming news. Uh, you've played No Man's Sky. Yes. Have you heard of? Uh, I think it's called Light No Fire. No, I have not. It's coming from the people that made No Man's Sky. Yes. But instead of having a just enormous universe that you can travel from star to star. It is one planet, and it's a full-size planet. And, and you can go every, every square inch? Every of square inch of the planet you can go to. And uh, so they haven't released exactly what it is, but it's kind of, I guess, a fantasy setting. Um, but there's uh, crafting, and you can, you know, I guess get mounts and fly around or ride around. And, yeah. Um, it's, I guess, massively multiplayer, so you can create little communities on this planet or whatever. It's looking pretty interesting. So that sounds pretty interesting. I wouldn't mind. It's like I like uh, that's why I liked like Grand Theft Auto games because you had a whole city and they would try to give as much detail mm -hmm. so you could go to every little location. And they just had the the trailer for Grand Theft Auto Six that came out not too long ago. Really? Yeah. You haven't seen that? Well, so watch it. it's uh, Liberty City, which yes. is supposed to be like, or not Liberty City, uh, Vice, Vice City. Because we've already had Vice City game too. We've had both yeah. of them. So Vi it's Vice City, which is supposed to be, uh, you know, their version of Miami. Yes. What's Vice City then? Well, or Liberty City is supposed to be their version of New York City. Oh, okay, so yeah. you got New York and Miami. Yeah. And then there's, uh, I think it's Los Santos is their version of, uh, Los Angeles. That was the three. That was like my favorite. Yeah, and then... Um, or where, no, San Andreas. Yeah. Um, that was my favorite one. Yeah. But this one is... It's Vice City. And the... Basically, it's kind of... They, they're claiming... You'll have to wait to see... Supposed to be almost the entirety of their version of Florida. Oh. So, you'll be able to go the whole state. So... That was like, was it Fallout 76 or Fallout 4? One of them, they were doing a whole state. Yeah. I was like, yeah, you should do this. Mm -hmm. um, but it looks it looks pretty good. I mean, it was a lot of cinematics, and then there was supposedly a little bit of in-game footage. Yeah. And it's a lot more crowded. It's like an actual city. Yeah. Uh, so, like, they showed, like, downtown at night, and it was, like, bumper to bumper people walking down the streets and it was like tons of people so I mean we'll see and it's going to be like a because I've heard the controversy on that is a selling amount though they're still debating yeah the $150 or a monthly subscription yeah um it's supposed to be like a Bonnie and Clyde-ish kind of thing it's a it's a it's a couple and it's like their story or whatever okay so that'll be interesting yeah so what do you think of this two times juice jolt you know for an IPA? For an extra juicy double IPA at 9.5%. It's very drinkable. Yeah. It's very smooth. It's scary. And it was yeah. actually cheap for a big old 19 ounce mm. freaking can. Less than $3. So they could easily put that at every every corner store right yeah. there. Instead of having to go to a liquor store. Then all of us poor people could... Hey, man. <laughs> give me the double juice joke. <laughs> We'll come back. Yeah. Okay. Maybe that'll make final. I don't know. <coughs> oh, Live thanks. fast, drink slow. We're gonna try some uh, Brew Dog Elvis Juice, grapefruit infused IPA. 
6.5. I can read it right there. All right. Where's it from? Uh, Ohio. Ohio. What's round in both ends and high in the middle? I see. What, what are you trying to say? Who makes it? United something, it said. What? Right in the middle of... Unite? Oh, no. Yeah. No. I guess not. Yeah, so... Oh. <laughs> Brewdog. Brewdog. Yeah. Wow, the Brewdog. <laughs> I just said that. Okay. But it's called Elvis. So. Elvis juice. Elvis juice? I hope it's not the white stuff. Oh. It's the P. Elvis P. Look at that color. That's Austin French right there. I can smell the grape. You can smell the Elvis? Yeah. <laughs> you think it would be like chocolate banana or whatever his favorite sandwich Peanut was. Peanut butter banana sandwich. Not grapefruit. That is. Look at that. Just sitting there. Are we getting with the floaties? No, yeah, they're not really float. Yeah, I guess. So are we just getting used to IPAs, or are these I think just I'm two better in a row? Picking them. <laughs> <laughs> they're becoming more affordable. Mm. That's not bad. Mm -mm. I would they're say. Not as Christmas tree. I yeah. Think, I, I think somehow there might have been secret listeners, and mm. they were like, "Yes." These guys are right. It tastes like I'm eating a fucking tree. I would say, if I had to... This is better than the juice. After... I think. Mean, I mean, yeah. I would say on a scale of 0 to 10 on the Christmas tree, this is like a 0.5. Yeah, if that. That's... Yeah. Mm. I get it. I get a smidge. But not this much. Is, this yeah. is better than the double IPA yeah. we had. At a 6.5. Mm. I don't know if the grapefruit... I'm not really tasting the grapefruit. I can smell the grapefruit. But maybe that's what's saving us from the Christmas tree. So, we're we're a bit farther in on the creator. <sighs> yes. Um, can you, can you see his references though? Since you love you love Rogue One. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He's I, a great director. I gotta say, like, so one of the big problems, big problems with Hollywood right now. Yes. Is there's nothing original. Yes. This is a pretty good original story. And this it is... got... It flopped. It, fl it kind of flopped at the theater because people want to see all this big blockbuster yeah, stuff. Yeah, I mean... The only issue I have so far, and I mean, anybody who's a Hulu subscriber has the same issue... It's commercials. Commercials. But I mean... You gotta pay not to have commercials yeah. even more. Which is ridiculous. I'm but, paying for streaming. Oh, no, now you have to pay for no commercials. Yeah. That's not what the whole streaming revolution was supposed to be about. I'm already paying you. Yes. You need more money? Mm-hmm. Anyways. Yes. Um, but, yeah, good original story. Um, I'm digging it. So This is kind of reminding me. It's kind of funny. Um, <clears throat> I'm trying to remember his name. The guy who directed Chappie and District 9. Mm-hmm. But the robots in this are just reminding me of a mixture yeah. between District 9 I and Chappie. I haven't seen Chappie, but I know I've seen the design of the robots. Yes. Yeah. So, which, supposedly... Uh, Neil Blomkamp. He, we just watched Gran Turismo by him, which is really good, too. Okay. So you need to watch Gran Turismo on Netflix. Supposedly, yes. we are going to get a sequel to District 9. Wow. So, I love... Yeah, Th that blew my mind. It District did. Yeah, was just like whoa. That was and the, the subtext of it of what he was actually talking mm -hmm. about is so much more when you you're like oh, oh. See that's why you got to. I've never I haven't watched Elysium yet, which was, was the second movie with Matt Damon. Oh, that was a good movie. And, jo and Jodie Foster. Yeah, that was a good. And movie. then Chappie was his third movie. I haven't seen that. And then Gran Turismo. I don't know if that's his fourth, but I think it's his fourth. And Gran Turismo is a lot better than you think it's going to be. It's one of those that hit the theaters and kind of. And that's the bad thing is people want these big blockbusters or nothing at all. Yeah. That's what one creator I, I saw, he, he was kind of funny because he's talking about, I want to talk about the disparities here. And he compared three movies that came out 
all with a two hundred million dollar budget. The Marvels. Mm-hmm. What have you heard about the Marvels? Um, I heard it was. I heard it was. It wasn't that great. Um, now that was like, I guess you'd say like mainstream reviewers. Um, from people that I know that have seen it, I heard it was okay to decent. It wasn't terrible. So okay, I enjoyed it. I like the Marvels myself, and it's made more than the two hundred million. Okay, you've got two other movies, and you, and you know there was an unnamed female director of Marvels first. The biggest, I think, is the biggest that a female director's ever made. Okay, but everyone talked down about it. You know what I'm saying? They talked down about it. And the fall of the MCU. You've, had, you've got two other big movies. One that's an Apple exclusive, but you saw in theaters. Big t- name director, Scorsese. Oh, uh, Flowers of a the... Paper Moon. with yeah. Leo De- the $200 million, you know? The, the, how much they've made back is so much less. It looks interesting, but that looks like one of those movies that, like... I'll watch it since we have Apple TV. Yeah. But I wouldn't have gone like, to the theater. No, nah, you gotta, like... That's one of those ones, to me, it's like <clears> you, gotta, you gotta sit down <laughs> and dedicate, like, I gotta, you know... But you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's, it's funny, and there's another one, I'm trying to remember, the other one that came out, which was had a $200 million... It was another big-name director. Um, I don't know if it was Napoleon, with Ridley Scott. And it... You know what I'm saying? It was one of those... And it's just like, it's funny, they want to rip apart the Marvels, but they want to kiss these, I mean, they're great directors, and don't get me, Scorsese is a great director, um, Ridley Scott's a great director, but it's like, come on guys, you want to hold people to different standards yeah. there, when you both have the same budget, who makes their money back? Yeah. You know, it, it, it is, it's crap. So, that's, that's what irks me a little bit, you know, because to me... Like, the creator, I want to look up the budget to see how much it cost. No, 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 no. This, the effects look fantastic. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And it got crapped on. But Gareth Edwards is a freaking fantastic director. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah. And just, um, trying to remember the name of the, the... He did Tron Legacy. He did Top Gun Maverick. Joseph Lefinski, I think. Um fantastic director and he wanted to do aliens the the real alien 3 movie i don't know if you ever heard the whole have you seen the how much of aliens have you seen alien aliens i've seen yeah i've seen alien aliens i saw alien 3 and then of course the uh, alien versus predator i've seen the the covenant and the um, prometheus. prometheus and did you see what was it um well alien 3 originally even though I got done by... Resurrection? Huh? Resurrection? It, that was four. Okay. Resurrection. Alien Resurrection was four. Alien 3 originally was written by a... Uh, <laughs> Refresh me. Which one was three? Was three, three was when she crashed. Nobody survived from aliens. Mm-hmm. Like the um, Newt, Newt and uh, the other Marine had survived at the end, but she crashed into a, a prison planet. Um, and she was the only survivor... Then you find out she's got actually got a tr- chest burster in her chest. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, but there's a, another alien that happened to survive with her, who's hunting them all, and they have primitive weapons. You know, not a bad movie. First movie for um, oh, I'm trying to remember the director's name. Who I just watched The Killer by David Fincher. I think it's a good movie, but there was a script. It was supposed to be done, and it was done by um, a a famous freaking author did it. And it was like a mix between aliens and it was like techno aliens. Like originally, if you read it, she got picked up on a space station instead of this uh, prison planet. And she was actually, she didn't wake her up. So Newt and Michael Bean was the, you know, those were the survivors. She, her thing was damaged. They didn't know if she was affected. So they sent her off back into space. Little did they know, an alien had captured, it was in one of the, you know what I'm saying? And it's on this space station, and it merges, um, Gibson is the writer. Um, I can't remember his first name. He's a sci-fi badass writer. He wrote Neuromancer and a bunch of other stuff, but he wrote this script. 
And so it's them surviving on a space station, all these new techno aliens. Like, it was merged with technology. Okay. And it was, like, brilliant if you read it, because you can read it online if you look it up. And so that's what uh, he wanted to do, is he wanted to make this movie. And Ridley Scott heard about it, and that's why he made Prometheus. Okay. Because he's like, I'm alien. This is my story. <laughs> and 20th Century Fox was like, okay, yeah, yeah. And that's why he did Alien Covenant, because he wanted to keep it going. There's another new Alien movie coming out on Hulu, since Prey was so successful. Yeah, Prey was awesome. It's, Have you watched it, it? Yes. It's Alien Romulus, I think. It's called. Okay. Um, but it's done by a little-known director, too. And it's supposedly Ridley Scott loves it. He's already seen it. He's like, this is fantastic. But this is what he... Uh, the other guy wanted to do is go back. And they're like, how are you going to do it? He's like, you can fit it in. As long as you have... Because you don't know if Ripley survives. Send her off into space, like it says in the script. And then it leads right into Alien 3. Yeah. It's like Alien 2 and a half. You know what I'm saying? Between Aliens and Alien 3. Yeah. You can do it. But that would be the story of uh, Michael Bean's uh, character, Michael Bean's character, and Newt. Yeah, it was a good story. Like I said, you can look it up online and, re- and read it. Uh, did you see what? So I, I guess they're looking at doing like a follow up to Prey, with um, and I'm gonna butcher this, and I don't mean to. I can't remember her name is like Thunder Thundercloud or Thunder the the main character. Yes, the actress. The actress. Yeah, they're gonna do a follow up with her. Oh, that'd be awesome. Uh, but they're also what I read was there's a script for a Predator movie. Um, in like Fury of the <coughs> with like a samurai, and I was like, "That would be bad, dude." Let's go, you know. Um, but on your subject of of scripts that were great but didn't, so I won't say great, but it was a it was a good idea. Yes. And I can't I can't find it anymore, and I'm gonna have to. I'll do some more looking to see if I can find it, and we'll do some more talking about it. Um, the guy, you remember that movie? Um, it was the it was the group of friends, and it was like the found footage kind of deal where it was like on a camcorder. Okay, not Blair Witch. Mm. But they they were at like prom or homecoming, okay. and they left. They go out in the woods. They fall into an alien spaceship, and they all get powers there. Oh, Chronicle? Chronicle, yes. Josh Trank was a director. Yes. He, he did the fa- that Fantastic Four that failed because the producer started in... Yeah, friend, because they didn't like the fact he was changing up the whole dynamic. So, if you... So, two things. One, he does a video on YouTube, and I recommend you go watch it. Yeah. Where he is drinking, and he is talking, and yeah. it's just him in a chair with, like, a bottle of bourbon. And he's just steadily... Monologue, just, him in yes. a chair. And it's great. It's great. Go watch it. But <laughs> Go watch it. Um, but So, he, Josh Trank in a chair. Yes, and he's just... Like I said, he's drinking, he's talking, and he's talking about how, like death in comics isn't real yes. and and how his dad taught him that and all that but yes. he wrote a script for a Mario movie and it is the weirdest coolest thing I have read for a Mario movie but basically what it is is it's live action okay. it's Mario ends up and I can't remember exactly how but he ends up falling into the Mushroom Kingdom from the real world by taking and, mushrooms. Well, <laughs> but he, he well, he ends up falling into the Mushroom Kingdom. He ends up like he's Mario. He meets Peach. You know the whole nine. Peaches, 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 and, peaches, peaches. And I haven't seen it yet. I gotta watch that. But <laughs> but it's like on everything now. He um, uh, Bowser is like this evil emperor. Jack Black. Yeah. And he's like, he's like, Mario's part of the resistance to fight him or whatever. Okay. He goes and meets uh, Donkey Kong. He has to re- help, like, recruit him to, you know, we gotta go fight Bowser, you know. Well, he comes back to the real world, and his brother, Luigi, is like, hey, you've been missing for a little while. Where were you at? And so he starts to explain. He's like, yeah, you know, I kind of just, you know, I ended up here, and it's, his brother's like, <laughs> okay. You've lost it, you know. And they start adding in these other characters because, like, he gets the gold coins <coughs> from the other... And he brings them back. And now okay. he's starting to become wealthy. And they bring in Samus from Metroid. All these Nintendo characters, they're bringing them into this world to make into this, like, branching thing or whatever. 
It was awesome. I was reading it. I was like, I would watch this. Yeah. I would pay money to see this. But apparently it didn't really go anywhere. He wrote this whole thing. And again, I'll see if I can find it. He had a website at one time that just had well, that on Tr there. Trank got in a lot of trouble for talking his mind, from what I understand. But Chronicle was a brilliant freaking movie. Yes, it was. And, and I would love and to see it. And I was sad when Fantastic Four, but when you hear about the troubles, that's the whole thing. It's like, you know how I love Hellboy. Yeah. Neil Marshall did the new Hellboy. Of course, there's another one coming out in a bit. <laughs> But Neil Marshall did it, and he ran in with the producers and the executives who changed it. He, he was told that originally he was going to get final cut, and then he went to do the final cut. They said, no, you don't get it. So I want, you know, the people on, on like Twitter were like, you know, there was always a Snyder Cut for Justice League. They released a Snyder Cut. And a lot of fans of David Ayer's Suicide Squad, he was like, there's a lot of footage that got thrown on the floor, especially the Joker with Jared Leto. And he's, he's like, I wish I'd let release what we did. So there's been a lot of things with, with release the air cut, and I'm a I'm a release the Marshall cut now because when I heard that there's a finished film that is not what you see for Hellboy. Well, I mean, I mean that's a, <clears throat> Kevin Smith's Superman movie. I mean, I mean he didn't get to make it, but the producer got involved and was like this, 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 and this. I would love to see a Kevin Smith. And you've seen the you new know. Flash movie, haven't you? No, not yet. His dream came true. Well, I saw. I know he was in there. Yes. But but I I, just, I haven't seen it yet. But, um, <clears throat> I thought that was a tribute to me. Yeah. And I was like, that's freaking awesome. <laughs> in a universe, they did make this movie. Yeah. You know, but, even as stupid as the giant spider. Yeah. Which wasn't uh, Kevin's wild, idea. Wild Wild West. Yes. Um, but, uh, I mean, you see that a lot. It's like people, you know, like. Oh, I we don't like your idea. We're going to go with this. And, yeah. and then, you know, you end up with a piece of crap. Yes. You know. Because this is what I think it should be. Yeah. How about you listen to everybody else? Yeah. yeah. I think, this is just me, but I think a lot of these, like, writer-directors that come up with these ideas, at least one of uh, them. I don't have anything to. Then you owe me one. <laughs> I think at least one of them needs to crowdfund a movie. And say, look, I have an idea for this. This is what I want to do. Put it out there. And crowdfund but, comic books, so... Well, yeah, crowdfund a movie, and so that way... I mean, it's a proof of concept. If you got an idea, and it comes out, and everybody's like, this is the... Like, I love this, you know? Yeah. Might we able to get rid of some of these, you know, asinine producers? I mean, yeah, they got the money in their back and stuff, but at the same time, it's like... There's so many great stuff that yeah. can be put out. Yeah, so... What do you think? He's brought our adopted mascot. This is Benny. Hope you haven't met Benny. Benny's my long hat. My long hair. Long hat. Long hat. He's my long, long hat. hat. As you can tell, it's going to be this introduction of... Let's see if we can pronounce... Orange Boom. Orange Boom. It is... 5% imported barley hop from it's brewed with passion the Dutch royal family um, product of Germany brewed in Germany okay and it says Holland so it's that's really confusing but orange boom so we're still going through the creator still very good I don't know if you've ever seen Gareth's first movie called Monsters. He did Monsters was his first movie. He did it on a very limited budget. Wait. In Mexico. That was the one you showed me. The the, the one where You they see were... side glances of monsters in the background where yeah. a meteor has crashed on Earth. The dude is trying to get... Damn, his boss's daughter out of Mexico. Yes. 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 We watched that here with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That was his first movie. That was... And that's how he got Godzilla. That was that was a good movie. I yes. like that one. Let's see. Orange so, boom. Hold on. First of all, I owe I owe a. Oh. Okay. Oh, catching up. Hmm. I don't taste the orange. Mm -mm. I just taste the. It's a lager. Is it nail or lager? It's a like? lager. This tastes like if you took a European 
and you isolated them from the rest of the world and you said, hey, here's a picture of an orange. What do you think it tastes like? Do you, <laughs> do you think they don't have oranges in Europe? No, I'm just saying if you isolated them. If you like, isolated yeah, them. They have no reference to it. If you put like, them on a pirate boat. Yeah, and then you're like, hey, what do you think this tastes like? And they're like, let me throw some stuff together. It's different. Um, I, I like a lot of German beers. I didn't even know this was German. Um, this is different, though. It's still got the European taste because they do something different with their barley and hops, I think. Or maybe it's the style of barley and hops they use over there. I'm not really sure. I think we should set ourselves a goal. A goal? A goal. Goal! We, we should set ourselves a goal. Okay. We're setting ourselves a goal. Of... And it's going to have to be after our kids grow. Oh, God, really? I mean, it's a goal. It's uh, a goal. To, damn it. I can do this all day, folks. Captain America burps. You going to bed? But I, damn I still got to catch up here. Oh. Um, <laughs> This is gassy. This is gassy, mm -hmm. as you call Orange and gas. Um, the four of us, maybe more. <sighs> Kyle, Kirk. Kirk can't even drink with us. Oh. At least Kirk will come. Um, damn. <laughs> <laughs> this is a very gaseous beer. This is only beer number four. Oktoberfest, like legit Oktoberfest. I think Kirk's been in Germany. I, I say we go. I like to go anywhere, even stateside. Like that, they have that town in Tennessee. I think they do it. Okay. Or Georgia? Is it a hell in Georgia? Maybe I don't know. You don't know. My wife might not go to Georgia for a little while, so. Uh. <sighs> what has Georgia done to your wife? So I showed her a video earlier, and I can show you if you'd like to <sighs> see it and get yourself all cheesed off. Cheesed off. Um. It's basically a, a family. They take their their infant daughter. Their to, inc ancestral daughter. What? No, infant. Infant. Daughter. Yes, infant daughter. Um, to the doctor, okay. so her legs are swollen. Take her to the doctor. The doctor's like, "Hey, <coughs> we take her to the ER. It seems kind of serious. Take her to the ER." So are they they're they're following these people around with the camera. No, 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 no. This is like, oh, okay. this is like an actual like case there. Yes. Yeah. So they take the daughter to the ER. They do some blood tests. The child abuse physician at this hospital shows up and is like, "Hey, the only way this do this this little girl can have these is from like abuse." They take the daughter away. Tests come back and show it's actually like a like a, a problem. Like she could have yeah. like they have two different issues it could be, but the state is refusing to acknowledge the fact that these tests came back showing that she has it's a medical issue. It's not just issue. a Georgia thing. Though, well, I know, that. but it's... Yeah. Different states step over the boundaries. Yes, they do. That's the whole thing. Is There's a parental right, and he's like... Here, here's, here's the deal, and I, we always get a little political on here. Here's and the dealio. Here's the deal. I'm just going to end this right here, right now, because we need to get back to, you know, finding blah, blah, blah. Um... The people of this country have forgotten that we are the rulers of this country, not the politicians. They work for us. And they seem to have gotten this mentality that they are in charge and what they say is 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 that. And the people would need to say no more. <coughs> I'll agree with that. And the whole thing, and that goes for both sides. Because mm -hmm. how many times the politicians play up whatever they can get to vote for them? Yeah. And I'm sorry, but... You work for us. Period. That paycheck dot. you're getting is yes. because we put you yes. there. So. I mean, unless you're a Supreme Court justice. But there again, the president is only the president because we decided they're the president, and the president picks those. Yes, but then they vote on them and. The Congress or Senate, you know what I'm saying? They can't. Ju the president can't just hand pick them. But again, yes, Congress and yes, Senate yes. are put there by us. Yes. So, 
Let's not forget we the people. No. It's, that's it. We are the rulers of our own country, and people have forgotten that. Well, no, they get so scared because yes. the media pushes them to scare. You have mm-hmm. to choose this or you have to choose that. Yeah, no. Sorry. It's time to stop being scared. Yes. And just take the power back. So, anyways. <laughs> um, Color your hair. Do yeah. what you want. Yeah. Take the power back. Yes. Um, we can get on a whole tangent on this, because I have lots to say. But, um, I, I, on a, on a lighter note, I would totally watch more stories in this universe. Yes. That, this is just... The creator. Yeah. Show me a, a prequel. Yes. You know? Um, show me other yeah because yeah, it's kind of it kind of just starts you in a weird place yeah you know what I'm saying I would love to see more. see how, how it gets into I actually the beginning of it the very <clears throat> beginning damn the very beginning of it I got a little bit of a, a fallout vibe I can see that I can't which, wait I can't yeah. wait for the Amazon TV yeah. fallout which by the way by the way um totally and completely canon to the the games like story wise that's what i've heard so anything that happens in the show is going to be touched on in future games so this is i'm gonna say this this is very confusing to me we watched for christmas yeah amazon prime Mm -hmm. we watched candy cane lane eddie murphy movie with um what's the wife's name she was on blackish is this the one with the elves and the little toys. The little toys that are actually alive and you Ross. find out. Yeah. Diana Ross. Diana Ross's daughter. Okay. Ellen. No. Tracy. Tracy Ellis Ross. Ellis Ross. But it's a, it's a decent movie for a Christmas movie, you know. Um, but at the beginning of the movie, see, I had heard this rumor, and I'm going to go back into it in a second, before Christmas. An MGM. You know the MGM with the lion? Yeah. MGM. On the bottom, I said, an Amazon company. Huh. And before Christmas, Jeffrey Bezos asked Congress for a grant of $800 million plus to purchase MGM. A grant. You know a grant. You don't have to pay that shit yeah. back. Yeah. Can you imagine if me or you Ask the government for a $800 million grant? That's because he's collecting all that data via Amazon. To purchase a movie studio. And the, and the reason I think this is funny, because I don't know if you've heard, is there's a, there's a new MGM Plus streaming service with MGM Plus special things. And I'm like, well, if Amazon owns it, shouldn't it just be on Amazon? Just saying. Was that a reason to double the price? Say what you will. Yes. About Elon Musk. The dude. The dude does he is some kind of crazy. The dude does some stuff, but the Cybertruck I do not agree with. No, but he, uh, yeah, um, he. I mean, he bought. But he Twitter. Didn't, he didn't get it from nothing. You know, all the money he started with rich parents. No, but what I'm saying, though, is he, he bought, bought Twitter. Twitter. He bought Twitter. It wasn't a grant from the government. Or, oh, I, well, yeah. he, took, he, took, he took stuff from Tesla and stuff from SpaceX. Well, he liquidated, yeah. He liquidated. Yeah. The whole thing is he still, be, this year, he became the richest person in the world. Even though Twitter, now X, yeah. isn't making money. How do you do that? A, a cyber truck, which <laughs> is a death trap on freaking wheels. How I don't know how it's gonna, any insurance agency is going to insure it. Did you see his little? Uh, and this is probably about a month or two ago. He was at uh, it was some sort of like press thing or whatever. Okay. And um, we're gonna get. We don't get money. We're not. We don't get money for this. So I wish we did. We're nice. not monetized, so I can say. I mean, unless Jeffrey Bezos you want to pay. Yes, us. we'll take. We won't even take eight hundred million. No, I'll hundred thousand. Hundred thousand each. 
I would take a hundred thousand and split it with you. There you go, fifty thousand each. Come on, hey, Jeffrey Bezos. But anyways, uh, he's you up to get thing. better production. You just have the talking, and you have actual cameras moving around us. And they were like, uh, you know, asking him about like advertisement on X. Yes. And he was like, "Don't advertise on X." He was like, "Are you really going to blackmail me with he, money?" He had to recant some of that. You saw. Well, that. but I mean, still though, I mean, the dude says what he says. I mean, are you, might he might. Oh, I know, but he, he does say what he says. That's all you can do is say what you say. Well, but I mean, I'm I'm not. Nobody has made him. Don't don't mistake me as as being like a Elon Musk like fanboy. Oh my god, no. he can do no wrong. But I'm just you know what I'm saying like of the two. No, you're just a Joe Rogan. Well, can do hey. No I didn't say he couldn't do no wrong. I just, I like... He never ate the penis on Fear Factor. I'm sorry, I can't respect him. until he eats some kind of goat I, I like his podcast because he brings on weird, random people and just lets him talk. I can understand that. Yeah. It, it's the ridiculous amount of money he got from Spotify to do it. And I don't blame him. Yeah, I'm just saying... I like, blame Spotify. You, I know, but it's like, I, I mean... Seriously, if Spotify came to you and said, we're going to give you $400 million. But they're not dollars. going to. No, but if they said, we're going to give you $400 million to sit in a room and let random people come in here and just say. I'll say, hey, can we save some money and just do it for forty grand?" No, you wouldn't. You'd be like, $400 million? Hell yeah. <laughs> You're probably right. Yeah. <laughs> but Spotify's not asking me. No, That's why but, I'm a little bit jelly here. But, I mean, he, he has some interesting guests on. Do I agree with everything that he says or his guests say? No, but it's interesting to listen to. But I mean, again, I'm not a I'm not an Elon fanboy. I'm not a Bezos fanboy. I mean, if I had to pick one of the two, one of them got into a very um, penile shaped spacecraft and almost went to space. <laughs> one of them won't even go up. No, uh, yeah, you know, hey. The whole thing is, it's. I don't know how they get this money, except for they've sold trade secrets to somebody. We're not supposed to download TikTok or Tamu because the Chinese government, but it's okay if Elon or I got a guy. Jeffrey or Zuck. Yeah. It's okay if they collect your data, but no, not the communist China. I got a guy for you to listen to on that. Uh-oh. Uh, I can't remember his name. I'll I'll research it and I'll get you back. Okay. But he's uh he's he was paid by the U.S. <coughs> government and I guess the U.N. to do some kind of study on China. Yes. And he's like, there's if we got in a war tomorrow, maybe worry. He was like, but it's not gonna happen. Yes. Um, but basically, they're not gonna be a worry, a threat for much longer. Because their, like, birth rates are, like, so... Oh, yeah. Yeah, so... But that's, but, a whole, that's a whole thing. That's why they want more technology. Yeah. But here, you know, neither here nor there, but... I hope we don't. I'd yeah. rather see world peace myself at some point. You know, because I think it's the politicians. I think we, the people, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. don't have a problem with each other. Mm -hmm. That's me. Mm-hmm. I'd like to have a drink with everyone around the world. It's not a Coke. It would be a beer. Yeah. And if you don't drink beer, we could have something else. I would say that the best way to fix a lot of problems in the world is the King Ralph solution. Let's go bowling and drink some beer. I suck at bowling, but hey. I mean, hey. You're going to be talking. Karaoke and some beer. A karaoke. You're, you're on a karaoke. I mean, hey. But, whatever. Orange boom.